Don't go to F7 now, though, because the queen... No! I blame you, Robert Hex. You're a cursed man. Every but time. an evil soul, first trying to start the beef, and then you curse my students. Five Up has nearly a 400 point rating advantage. Sapnap has a pretty nice rating, I might say. What do you think, Andrea? Yeah, uh, <laughs> I think it's Kat's favorite number. Yeah, exactly. So uh, now that we got that one out of the way, we can focus on the chess here. And we have a knight c3 rather than knight f3. So this is the Vienna game. And Boxbox himself likes to play with his knight c3, though, not knight f3 to follow. Yeah, we unfortunately didn't have time to prep, but I think he's just going to try to go for the symmetrical play. Oh, he's done really quickly, Andrea. Yeah, Sapnap, they're, they're both pretty quick players. I mean, five ups up on the clock, but Sapnap fine. typically plays um, too fast. I tell him to slow down. The other option of this, he can respond with that. I don't remember which one was the better move. Hmm. We have two options, chat. We have this and this. That, I see that. we have a prediction. 3.5 million it's points on 5-up. We're just playing a stereotypical game of chess. This is the beginner stuff. Because I meant to move my queen pawn in the beginning, I didn't. But now I'm focused. Alright. So this is like nothing new for me at this point. He was looking at knight e7. He knows it doesn't work now because all these black pieces cover the square, but he's looking for opportunities to make it work in addition to the f-file and this bishop hanging here. So, Andrea, you've coached Sapnap. What do you think he's thinking right now? I mean, he did two hours of puzzles yesterday. I hope he sees that he kind of has... Oh. Never mind. <laughs> Damn it. That's... Uh, no! Knight takes f6. It's over. Yeah, it's an understandable move, hitting the queen. But after knight takes f6, it is check. And it's a removing the defender tactic because now the bishop is no longer protected by the knight that was on f6. And that is exactly what 5-up has done. He's taken the knight. Let's see if 5-up has worked this game out because the eval bar is skyrocketing. I just put him in check so he can't take my queen. So he has to take this or do it like that. And either way, I defend it with this. So this doesn't get taken. He's going to take this, though. And then I can't take it because that is a queen in the way. What if I do this? Oh, my. You could even take this on F7. How bad is this? Yeah, he could do oh, that. Oh, this is good, though. Good move, but... Yeah, oh, yeah. Move. I mean, this game's already... Brutal, brutal. Five up? People are sleeping on 5-Up. He's really good. No, I was terrified for my student. Like, after I saw 5-Up's game Can against I check Ludwig? him off of this? Hold on. Because he has the option of going here or here. If he goes here, I'm pretty sure it's terrible for him. So he's going to always go here. Then I take this, but it checks. But if I don't take it, what if I go... What if I, what if I go... What if I go here? Okay, can I do anything cheeky here? What happens if I check him again? Just the awareness to recognize he we'll doesn't have to take the rook is so excellent. We're yeah. gonna check him again. Yeah, I would to take agree with, with chat. He's much higher rated than a thousand. He's probably like at least double sap now. I go rating. here. What if I go here? If I go here, then here. I mean, isn't that? No, I go here. That's checkmate. Is that not? Yep. The way he thinks about the game is excellent. And uh-oh, that yeah. walks into a checkmate. Like Danny said, it's just he has an instinct that you can only really build up from years of experience, like playing since you were a young kid. And it's very hard to match up against that. Uh, I didn't see a way out of that. All right, that was, that was a tough one. That's all that happened. He, uh, he, uh, he made a mistake, and I saw it, and I took it. That's that's the only. I mean, sometimes that's just how a chess game is. I have something very spicy planned, funny that I'm excited to do. I am very happy. Like, ooh, if it works out, it, let's just say we have a gambit. Let's say, let's just say we have a gambit. Are anyone coaching me? Yeah, and the Kremlin's coaching me. Fried liver? I'm not doing the fried liver on stream, Fundy. How dare you? How dare you suggest? And 
there he goes d4 and also his rating is just pure evil right now so he I needs know. to get this game over with we can't have oh this. no we can't even play the london what is this blasphemy he took five up took away my only pride and joy <laughs> well this england gambit it was used by daniel negranu in a previous pog champs not really the he's best playing all these tricky things dude <laughs> yeah we're we're doomed oh, now man. there's there's just no hope what is the problem with this I forget, dude. Whatever. And now he's just quiet. He he, he doesn't stream, so he's not too talkative. Oh my gosh! Look at this eval bar. Wait, Bishop. Check. Oh no no. Do you want great move? But there's... there's so many opportunities. I just blunders a. What is wrong with me, bro? Come on, get your head in the game. You're winning, Sapnap. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Needs to believe in himself. Great position. Curious where he's going with this thought. How do process. I make this not defended? Like this? Interesting. Trying to threaten Queen Orc. He takes. Fine with this. I think it's time for White to get that king. Yes, I, I can. I can castle either long side or not. I don't you can't think, castle. You moved your king. I don't. <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think Ampasant is the play. Um, Andre, not to start any fights, <laughs> but I see Anna Cramling in the chat saying, "Go, go, 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 five up." And well, that's fighting words from where I come from because you're backing sap map. Look, I don't. I love it. I just saw a tweet about poker. I even asked her if she wants to play some poker. I don't even care if she's the, the rival coach. I'm just saying, she's rooting against Sapnap. That's kind of your student. So, look, Robert, it's it's very funny to see you try to incite the violence, <laughs> but you're just too mellow of a person. It could never happen. Okay, okay. Well, <laughs> this knight is trying to do bad things towards this black king and i'm wondering if it's trying to go to f don't go to f7 now though because the queen no c4 that was bishop c4 <sighs> oh he's so fast Oops. i thought I had bishop c4 Unlucky man, man. I, I do it every time i blame you robert hex you're a cursed man every what time. an evil soul first trying to start the beef and then you curse my students and it looks like five of is calculating the series of trades that starts with bishop takes rook on b1, and then this bishop on c6 captures the rook on a8, and there he goes. He captures the rook and will re not regret it at all. Yeah. I mean, white, the, I, the only hope I see in this position is after he takes the rook, he retreats the bishop. Oh. Well, that was not the best trade. Never mind, that can't happen anymore. No, trading off the queens when you're now down a full rook and a pawn, that makes it much easier for five up who's king in the center, doesn't have to worry about getting checkmated because that rook is not getting into the action. I get a pawn. <laughs> He's still collected. It, he will. This. And now he cannot defend a pawn anymore. Unless he does. Wait, that. just give his rook? What? Okay. Fair play. Both players are blundering way oh. more than usual. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that, that bishop is really annoying. That, that spot is super annoying. Okay. We, all, we blundered, but he didn't see it. We're fine. Now he's thinking, how do I get rid of it? He will... Eventually, maybe play b5 and rook b6 to chase it out of there, but instead he's taking a free pawn, at least for the time being. Yeah, I mean, even trading the rook there would have probably made it simpler, but I, here you go. He simplified everything, traded all those pawns. So he, he got what he this. wanted in the end. Sabinat needs to do this. Bring that would the rook, be nice. Bring the rook to h1, and this is actually not a very easy threat to stop. That's true. Oh. Uh, trading, I think he just mentally... Can't died. trade. And he, he did very well in the group stage just to get here. And it just, he's playing one of the group winners. It happens to be five up, who's extremely good and underrated. And look at that great play by five, taking the bishop, 
White has no more pieces, can't ever win this game, which means even if it's a stalemate, that means uh, five up goes on. So he's just gonna queen. But don't pre-move. Well, don't do that. <laughs> here, actually, Ludwig could learn from this one as well. This is a position where it's safe to pre-move because there's probably nowhere you could put the king that could stalemate him. Yeah, there's no. I'm just suffering some from. <laughs> You're just PTSD. Yeah, we just saw what happened when you try to pre-move the game out. You unfortunately can stalemate your opponent. See, look at that. A man who knows to take their time with two queens. Crazy. Nope, don't don't pre-move. Stop it. Oh, wait. Don't, no, no, don't, don't, don't do it. Oh, we almost did that same thing. Oh, my God. We almost tied it from Ludwig again. Oh, I think he was watching the stream. Oh. That was so close. Even a draw, though, five there up would have still that, won the match. Take notes, Ludwig. Wow, he wins. But he learned because he watched Ludwig. So, oh, my god! Wow, gosh. who knew you could actually learn from watching PogChimp? Andrea, I'm just passing it right to you because I think you and Sapnap need to have a discussion. Look, Sapnap I think my chess coach is awesome. That, that's not what you just <laughs> said. Aww, yeah. I, I, won't, I, I won't stick to this beef, this predetermined beef on air. Look, Sapnap, I'll be completely awesome. honest. You, you, you put up the best fight you could, and I'm proud of you for the progress you made. But honestly, from the beginning, I don't think we stood a chance against five up i'm not gonna lie when you I asked me did. how much training you could do in my head i was like there's no amount we're screwed it's wow. over wow but Damn. i always believed in you yeah. you know what's messed with, up well, that's that not attitude. coach mentality at all that, what kind of what the hell was <laughs> what that i'm just being a realist <laughs> that was, I, was coach. Coach. I know like Maybe i watched can that man slaughter ludwig I, I watched a murder five up i was just i was scared much for myself okay <laughs> Well, Philo, how are you feeling? I mean, you played two very good games. You won your group stage so far, no defeat. So how are you feeling as you enter the semis? Um, I feel good, but I am very worried at the same time because uh, out of everybody here that I've played, I've played Fundy by far the most because like, I just casually play chess with him. And he is a, a terrifying opponent. So I'm going to prepare for that. But that is that is the true challenge that I'm worried about. I'm curious. Are you going to continue playing chess after this seven up? You know, maybe yeah. coach, if you hate me now. <laughs> yeah, I wanna, I wanna get better. I wanna win, keep winning. It's my first loss, so that I wanna win. True. That's true. He he won. Uh, oh, you won block champs. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thanks for joining us, and congrats again to you, Five Up, for moving on, and you will continue in the championship bracket. Thank you. Yeah, exciting. <laughs> More than yep. anything else. Five Up, I'll be looking forward to the next game, and Sapnap will have a talk after. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh god! It's like a scolding parent. Yeah. I'm scared, honestly. Uh, but thank you both so much. We'll let you go, and uh, we'll see you soon, Five Up. All right. All right. All right. Thanks, Zap Nap too.